Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to another video with the Electrical Guide. Today, I want to show you how to install the Cassetta Lutron Wireless Dimmer. I love these. These are all over my house. I'm going to swap out a standard switch today with one of these. Controls uh, both LEDs and incandescent. And this actually has a remote control as well, which is super cool. They call this thing the Pico Remote. And we're going to learn how to pair that today as well. Here's what the dimmer looks like out of the box. Pretty cool on off, up and down. It's really, really easy to wire, super easy. Two black wires in the ground, in and out. It doesn't even matter which you wire to, whether it's power here or power here or light here or light here. It doesn't even matter. It's that simple. There's no markings. So let's get into it. First thing I have to do, of course, is take off this cover, so I'll speed that up. So, of course, the power is already off. I've turned it off before I started, but just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and verify that everything in this box is indeed off. This is my proximity tester. I love this thing. It would be beeping and flashing red right now if anything in here was live. This box is pretty full. I'll have to do some maneuvering of these wires to get everything back in here. There's some neutrals in here as well. I won't need those, but I've got a ground to make my connection to my green wire here. And then I've got three black wires, but it doesn't really matter which ones I do. So I'm going to attach the bottom to this, and these top two are going to be attached to this one. And that should work just fine. So I'm going to open up all these connections, take this out and get it ready to put the new dimmer in and I'll speed that up as well. Okay, now I need to make connections with all these wires and to do that I need to make sure that these are flat and not hook shaped. So you'll see that I'm keeping the two that were together kind of up here to the side. I'm keeping the one that was by itself down here. I've got my ground kind of in the other corner here. And I'm going to be attaching these like this. But I need to use my pliers to flatten these wires out first. Okay, now I've got these two wires are going to be attached together up here. But they're not stripped the same amount. So I'm going to strip a little bit more on this one. And I'm actually going to cut off a little bit on that one so that they're roughly the same length now. Okay. Now in good practice, of course, we're going to attach the ground wires first. And because one of these is very soft and small, I'm just going to twist it around with my fingers. It's important that the smaller one is still right at the tip here though, so that when I put the moret on, the inside of the moret is able to grab both of these. Give it a couple of twists, like that. Now I'm going to do the single first because it's easy. Same thing, I'm just going to twist them with my fingers a couple times back here, and then a little bit of my fingers here. I can cut off that extra, making sure that they're both the same length there. Very nice, now I've got these two the best way to make a connection when you've got a soft or stranded conductor and you've got two solids is to pre-wrap one of them with the softer one like this. Wrap this one first and then use your pliers to twist these together. Like so. That absolutely ensures that these are twisted really nicely around each other. You can go ahead and toss some around on that one as well. And that's, that's it for the wiring. Now we have to tuck all these things back in, ensuring that the arrow here 
that says up is pointing to the top. So I'm going to speed up this part as well while I tuck all of these, uh, these wires back in. Okay, now we can go ahead and put the cover plate back on. Just like that, we've wired a Lutron Cassetta dimmer. All there is left to do is pair the little remote so we can do this remotely or with an app on our phones. I love this dimmer. Thanks for watching another video with the electrical guide. Be sure to like and subscribe if you appreciate things like this. All right, now that the power's back on, we can pair these. It's super, super easy to do. All you have to do is hold the bottom button for six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Should turn on and start flashing. Now hold the bottom on the remote. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it should do a scale up and down. And now your remote should work. Press the bottom, turn it off. Press the top to turn it on. Awesome. Thanks for watching another video with the electrical guide.